Hello, and welcome back to our little city. I suppose I never really mentioned. Um, it does have a name, Canoe Cove. Um, there's some of my friends will recognize what that's referenced to. Everybody else, well, just enjoy the name. Um, last time we, or last two times, we spent a lot of time working on this little intersection. Uh, since then, I just came in and I moved the recycling center and just added a few little trees, but I haven't really changed anything with it. I think I'm going to stick with my transportation work this episode because I haven't noticed something. Our little uh, highway at our out of town is starting to get kind of busy. And I think this would be a perfect time to upgrade it, maybe twin it, and call it a little, make it a little safer. Plus, I kind of want to make a construction site in the middle of it, so I think we'll do that. So, first let's grab our highway. And we're not going to go with the, uh, I don't think we're going to go with the high-end uh, interstate level highways. First I'm going to, actually first I'm going to bulldoze some trees. Got to clear the land before you can build, right? But I think I'm going to use one of these rural highway thingies. Because it, it's going to be twin, but it, this isn't a major interstate or Trans-Canada highway level thing. It's just going to be a, a twinned highway. So we'll just bulldoze a few trees along here. there, I think. Oh, not even close. Let's make this a little bigger. Work faster. Okay, that'll work. And I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave that on high. I'm going to leave the game running while I do this, too, so... Now, before we go too far, I just want to see what this looks like if I use a couple of one-way roads. Will it keep the arrows? Yeah. yeah, that could work. I think that looks pretty good. A little closer, or further apart than I wanted. But yeah, I think we'll go with this. Now, I said that was too far apart, but I think I actually am going to roll with that. Yeah, we'll go with two squares. I suppose the nice thing about using these things is that they have uh, the grid attached to them, so that way I can see my spacing. And no, it doesn't need to be perfect. If, if I wanted that, I'd just use like one of the network multi-tool parallel road things. But no, for this, just nearby is good enough. do is stop that there. Do that. Which I want that to be one lane. Okay, that's better. So it's going to do that. Let's put a setting in here so these guys stop slowing down. Now 
Now, this part, it's going to be a little ugly just because I, I'm using certain road types for the connections, so I'm not too worried about what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is get this guy. We'll just get this started here. Clean that up a touch. Okay, that's good. But he wants to use the old way anyway, but we'll make sure nobody can. So we got traffic coming in on our new highway. So this section can be upgraded into one way roads. here. You guys can squeeze down into here. And looks like I missed the direction of the bottom. There we go. Alright, so we got proper twin highway here. I want to add some guardrails and stuff just to separate the traffic. Now I'm going to fix this. I don't want these idiots turning left. Now what I'm doing here is a construction site like where you would see where they shunt down all the traffic into one side of the highway for a few miles while they do some work in the area. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for. So I think for the sake of the Design. We'll go with. We'll go with something like this. But we might come back later and finish this up. I think that might look pretty cool. Or it might be a neat idea anyway. Just kind of have the evolution of this highway. Okay, that's probably long enough. Now let's get the traffic back. Not quite sure how I want to interact with the bypass with this. It's, to me, it makes sense that this kind of high, highway would continue around the bypass, but I don't know. Well, it is four lanes, so I guess we can make a transition. So maybe we'll do that.
guys up here. In my experience, this is often how what happens when they convert a two-way road into a twin, is that they'll create the new one on one side, and then just repaint the old one to be a uh, one-way road. Makes sense, there's no point in rebuilding it. There's an interesting, interesting stretch through northern New Brunswick between New Brunswick and Quebec that I've been watching the evolution of that highway for the last uh, almost 20 years now. <laughs> As they've been gradually twinning it, I think there's only about 10 or 20 kilometers left of it. That's two-way roads. Kind of a pain to drive through at night in the rain, but the in general, the it's starting to come out okay. Let's do that and that. These guys can go here. I suppose I'll let you turn. Go here, here. No left turns for you. You know what, let's get rid of this left turn. I'm gonna do some sort of flyover thing at the, some point here. This is just a stopgap. Okay, our highway's functioning. We need to change our speed limits a bit. I don't think it should be an 80. Let's go with, let's make this 100. And in case you hadn't figured it out, I am Canadian, so we measure distances in kilometers, objects in feet, <laughs> in inches. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's going to slow right down because it's coming into a construction zone. So we'll bring it down to 40. We'll leave it 80 through the zone. 40 through the transition. And these guys can both go back up to 100. Pretty sure there is a way for me to set it across the entire road, but I feel like it has some Im some uh, not implications, side effects, I suppose. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we need to do a little bit of work on our construction site here. Let's do 
do that, soften that up a bit. Same thing on this side. That's pretty good. I feel like I probably could have accomplished that with the terrain brush. No. Oh, well. Let's try a different approach. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think we need some equipment. So I'm just kind of spamming down some of this gear. Some machines doing their thing. I think we'll give them a little performance office too. Head honcho's got to have somewhere to work, right? Ooh, paving machine. Perfect. Put that guy there. Just getting ready to start paving while these guys prep the surface. Maybe we'll park one over here. that crane's doing here, but I think it'll work. Just looking for something uh, to put here, because there's usually like some sort of cones or barrels or something. may have an asset for it, I may not. Oh, these guys are perfect. I gotta fix that first.
actually going to force them over early, which is what would happen in reality. So let's get back to our props. If I can remember where it was that I had them s moving over. guys really running over my pylons? That's just rude. Okay, and I think this intersection's... Yeah, not flowing there. Let's do that. Why am I doing this the hard way? curve okay, that's good gets to move over. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, so now we have our traffic funneling down into our slow area. Then two-way traffic all the way through. We're going to jump back up while we get through the construction site. Perfect. We got a little bit of decoration here just for fun. Now I think this highway needs some guardrails. Not necessarily going to go crazy with them, but I want something that if this truck jackknifes and He's not going to cross over into the other side. And where did I leave my fences? I think I have one for a double guard room. Perfect. Now, don't worry. I'm not worried about making this look good. This part is imagination. It's It doesn't exist. I 
think I'll just kind of hold it along this line down the middle of them. Roughly center. We're almost there. Okay, we're almost, well, not quite almost there, but there we go. That looks good. Yep, that'll work. I always often have little cut throughs, but um, I don't want any cars to actually do them, so I gotta be careful about how I do it. Well, first, let's get rid of some pens. And we'll pave this one. You know, kind of place police like to hide out. I think I like how that highway looks. It's got a nice little rural highway thing going on. Hmm. I think maybe I'd like to build a train, or a, not a train station, a uh, gas station somewhere. I just need to figure out where. Somewhere off the new highway might not be a bad idea. But I don't have anything out here right now, so it doesn't make much sense. Yeah. 
in here. Nah, not ready to bulldoze that farm. Got lots of land here, but that's all residential nearby. Maybe some sort of truck stop out here. Yeah. Right in this triangle. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay this out yet, so I'm just kind of hovering a few things here and there. So what do we got here? All kinds of pumps.
know there's a uh, building. Oh, there it is. Let's put that there. Nope. Let's rotate that. And I'll put a road in front of it here shortly. I just want to add some parking. snapping turned on. So that didn't work so well. Neither did that. power down here. Extend our pipes out a little. Okay, that's good. Now let's just fill in the grass. it in. Let's see what would be a good fence around. I think just standard old ooh, barriers. Yeah, let's do those. Or I saw a sign for this place somewhere. Uh, there it is. So I want this one for here. This is 388 a gallon. That's cheap. <laughs> Not cheap here. Cheap by my standards. I think it was dollar sixty-seven a liter this morning here. Which well, if you times it by three point seven you get a really scary number per gallon. I don't think we need to terrify anybody today. Ok, 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Rotate on me when I was trying to move around, but that's all right. We cleaned it up. Well, more accurately, we swept it under the rug, but that's all right. It worked. Good. Let's add a couple of trees and stuff around. Nothing too big in front of the place. Maybe some bushes. It's a dumpster around here, I think. Oh, that's neat. This ass up was made as a parking lot. <laughs> it's cool. It makes it look like people are actually using it. I like that. Nice. So now we got a little truck stop to go with our little highway. I think next time we might clean this up, turn it into a nice little flyover. Or something. It's pretty ugly right now. But the new twin highway looks pretty good. Complete with guardrails so nobody crosses over. Some of these trees are still a little close, but it's not too bad for uh, the type of highway it is. Then we have our construction zone, which I think turned out pretty good, especially with all these. Yeah, I think that's probably a good place to stop for now. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.